little different challenge this week with, with TCU. I mean, they, they had a lot in the run game as well. I mean, last week it was kind of just a one-dimensional game, still a, obviously a huge task there. But what are the differences this week that you see? Well? Yeah, TCU will go a lot more two-back. Uh, they'll, they'll try to establish the run first to set their pass up where Tech was more throw first to set the run up. So we, uh, it's going to be a challenge. What do you have to run the ball? They got big backs. What do you have to do differently when a team starts to, to set the pass up? What do you have to prepare for more? Well, I mean, that's football. That's what you. That's what we play defense for. So we're going to have to be balanced. You can't take as many chances against the run team. Uh, maybe getting after a quarterback just for the fact that, you know, if you don't hit the right gap or, you know, you get pushed around a little bit, uh, big plays can happen in the run game. So we have to be careful for that. What, what did your blitz percentage against Tech wind up being? We were probably about 60% bringing some kind of pressure. So and after the first quarter, we probably? Probably about 80%. <laughs> I was tired of him running around. And Brown got you a sack on one three-man play. But he you did, can't the, the second play of the game. You know. Well, the one that got me frustrated, again, we talked about it last week in here. Somebody asked, why do you blitz? And I said, he's out of frustration. And that was uh, the, two, the two big plays on a three-man rush. Uh, they got him down the field. We had two three and outs, and then we then we let him run around, throw it over us to get set up down on about the 30, and they had a penalty, backed him up, and then they throw a Hail Mary, and just frustrating. Is it possible Tyler just lost that ball and misjudged it? Because he, he was in position. I hope so. He looked like a Pop Warner kid going out for it, but, uh, but no, he'll he'll bounce back. Uh, you know, that, it was just, just a bad play all the way around. You know, a little bit of blame goes on the front, a little bit of blame goes on the linebackers, and that that's really where it all stemmed from, is the backers didn't slow the wideouts down, and they take off down the field, so everybody always sees the end result. But, uh, you know, Jeremy felt bad about it, obviously. He was, I think, a little embarrassed by it, and, but uh, he'll bounce back. And generally, TCU is seen as a pretty fundamental uh, offense. Whenever you look at them, how key is discipline for your guys? Considering sometimes they'll you know sneak a tight end out there, just try to fool you a little bit, and run some trick stuff on occasion. Yeah, they will. They'll they have a bunch of trick plays, reverses, reverse passes, uh, line up in the polecat formation with an offensive lineman, a wide out, way out wide, keep three guys in. So we have to prepare for a lot of different things with them. Uh, but, but they do a great job, like you said. They're, they're just fundamentally sound. They block you. They, they'll attack you downhill in the run game. So it, it's a whole different challenge again this week. Tony, is Dana's demeanor any different being 5-0 and versus any other any other year, any other time? No. no Dana's, Dana's the, you know, he's on a schedule. We're on a routine. And it's game week. And we do what we do on Tuesdays. We'll do what we do on Wednesdays, Thursdays. And nothing's going to change with him. Coach uh, Hicks with TCU, obviously, I mean, his running game is one thing, but he's also versatile, you know, catching passes and, and does a lot of damage. How do they use him? And they, and they'll use him uh, down the field routes, a lot of swing routes, but he is their leading receiver. He has the most catches, I think, with 29. So uh, he's he's a really good back. You know, he's solid. He reminds me a lot of our backs. Yeah, he's big, thick kid, hard to bring down, but, but still can run a little bit. And, uh, you know, he, well, he can, he's fast. I mean, he busted a couple big runs, and, uh, and he catches the ball well, so they're not afraid to use him. They'll use him in empty formations and throw it to him, so it's... Is it more of a challenge for the guy? Do you have to put another guy on him or a different kind of guy on him? No, we, we just have to account for him. Yeah. And a lot of times when they leak their backs out, that's guys get lost. So I'm sure that we're going to see a lot of, uh, you know, tailback yeah. flares and... They're going to try to release him to try to get him free because they know we like the pressure. So they'll try to sneak him out, I would think. And so we're going to have to do a really good job this week in our blitzes, making sure we're accounting for that back.